Hey, what's happening, guys? Welcome back. And today, I have a video for you that I've been wanting to do for a while and thinking about doing for a while. And I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to do it. And I'm still not really quite sure. I just felt like it was time to go ahead and do it and just kind of wing it and see how it goes. Um, I wanted to do basically a battle of the blades, so to speak, uh, which I'm going to be doing something similar to this more often. Um, I'm going to be doing comparisons of, like, blade shapes versus, you know, warnies versus warnies, or warnies versus drop points, or this, not <clears throat> this knife versus that knife. Whatever it might be, there might be <clears throat> one versus one, or uh, there might be four, so... I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it yet, but as time goes on, we will get it figured out. As of for today, though, it's a battle of the blades with four knives. They are all Warncliffe knives. We have first the Arcane Designs Crawler, the EMP EDC Nimble W, all blacked out. The Chavez 229 Sangre. And the Brass Brigade Grant Gripper. Now, this was done by Israel. This was designed by Israel. OEM by Best Tech. This was done by John, and the OEM was QSP. This was done by Chavez, obviously. OEM by Riot. And this was done by Jason Grant. Best Tech OEM this. So we have two Best Techs, a QSP, and a Riot. Now, we are trying to decide which one is basically my favorite. Uh, all around, all in every way. Um, now, anyone who knows me is probably thinking, well, he's just going to pick the EMP EDC, uh, which is one reason why I stayed away from doing this video because I'm very partial to EMP EDC. I love everything they do. Everyone who knows me knows I love EMP EDC. I have all his knives and I will continue getting them after this. Um, but I'm trying to take my love for EMP EDC out of the equation and just do it solely based off of the knife, how it functions, how it feels, and how it cuts, and make an actual decision. And maybe it will still be the winner. We don't know. We will decide that here very shortly. I don't know how long this video will go on. I'm going to try to keep it shorter. Um, I've already cut down the beginning as much as I could. So we have the names, the OEMs, the designers. Now, the crawler from Arcane is M390 with a satin and DLC coated blade. The Nimble W is also M390. 
The Chavez is also M390. And the Gripper is M390. Warnies and M390. What a beautiful sight. All in titanium. So we have titanium handles on all four of them. Now, the, I guess we'll do it this way. How about we do it this way? <clears throat> the gripper is the biggest of all four of these knives. The Chavez is second biggest. And then I believe the Arcane is next. And then the Nimble. Yeah, the Nimble is just a touch smaller than the Arcane. So there we go. That looks like a better picture right there. Sorry for the way the light is. It almost looks like it's flashing, but I can assure you it's not. It is the lighting and <clears throat> the camera not coordinating with each other, which is partially one of the problems I have when filming at night. I'm kind of limited in my light and then my camera. Uh, I will be getting a new phone with a better camera, so that will up the quality of the videos themselves. All right, so in a lot of ways, these knives are <clears throat> very similar. They all have titanium handles, like I said. They all have M390 steel. They are all Warncliffe blades. They are all top-notch manufacturing. Um, as far as I'm concerned, Riot, Bestech, and QSP are the top three OEMs in the production knife world. Uh, they are all three competing uh, for that number one spot. Riyadh has held it for a long while, but I think with good designers, uh, QSP and Best Tech have really stepped up their uh, quality. Um so, starting out with Ergos, uh, they all feel very good in hand. Uh, the two that have a choil are the Gripper and the Nimble. Uh, the Crawler and the Chavez are both kind of, they're both comfortable, but... They kind of force you into one grip as far as a full grip. Uh, you are forced into one grip, whereas the gripper and the nimble, you can choke up very close on that blade and get some very fine detail cuts in or very precise cuts. Having that choil allows you to get right up on the blade. Uh, without the choil, you're kind of forced to go over that flipper tab, which you can still get, you know, if you have a decent size hand, you can still get up on there with or without a choil. Um, so as far as comfort goes, I would have to say that the Nimble is probably the, the most comfortable, um, especially with these flat contoured scales. This knife just feels like it was meant to be in my hand. Uh, now this is all going to be based on my experience and my opinions. Um, and yours might vary or defer, um, and that's all right. That's what makes, 
uh, <clears throat> the knife community and the knife world great is we all love knives and they might be different knives or different favorites. So that's the cool thing. Um, and I did want to throw in, I almost put this guy in here to do a top five or a, a five battle almost. Uh, but I decided to keep this one out just due to the fact that I haven't carried this enough to have a good opinion on it. I mean, I've done, I've carried it some and I've done some cutting with it and it does do well. And I probably could have thrown it in here. Uh, I just didn't feel these knives I've carried a bunch and used a bunch so i was a little more comfortable uh doing it with these four uh now one thing is it's kind of cool looking at these four knives um the two that have the best like piercing point capability and these are all almost identical blades shapes is the arcane crawler and the brass brigade gripper they both have that awesome sharp point now the chavez and the nimble w also have that point but it's not quite as pronounced like the crawler and the gripper um now i'm almost going to do this like an elimination uh type so the first knife i'm going to eliminate which does actually kill me this is kind of hard but i'm going to eliminate the chavez uh i love this knife and it it, it works very well um but predicated off of ergonomics opening methods uh this one is going to lose to these three knives here um the last three remaining all have multiple deployment methods and they are all three much more comfortable than this one now this one's comfortable don't get me wrong just not as comfortable as these three uh now, we'll put that one to the top and close them up. Uh, now, we're left with the gripper, the crawler, and the nimble W. Um, I wanted to kind of do just a quick showcase on how slicey these guys are. USP has been doing a phenomenal job with their edges, uh, especially on these nimbles. I have uh, five nimbles, and they are all very, very sharp. Um, the Arcane is also very sharp that's one thing best tech can do very well as of late is their edges are now and these knives all have their factory edge and they've all been used pretty well um, so what you're seeing here is them still being slicey as hell after cutting ropes and twines and plastic banding and seat belt straps and all kinds of different stuff. Uh, these knives have gone down and cut a lot of different stuff 
and the, the edges are still phenomenal. Now, this one is going to win this category. Uh, this knife is like a freaking razor blade. Uh, Jason Grant designed the, the gripper. Whoop. And he, he killed it. I mean, everything about this knife is awesome. It's big. It's comfortable. It's useful. It's got a good blade steel with an awesome edge. Uh, it looks awesome. Multiple deployment methods. Uh, you, the only problem with this knife is you can't get it anymore. Uh, Jason Grant will no longer make this knife. So if you didn't get one uh, on the first run, you won't be getting one unless you can find it on the secondary. Or if he revamps like a version 2 on down in the future, uh, which is definitely possible. He has the tripper coming out, the Tanto gripper basically which is a smaller design than this in a Tanto configuration. Um, so what's left is the W, the crawler, and the gripper. And uh, the next one that I'm going to take out is the crawler. Um, I love this knife. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Um, doing this and taking the knives out uh it, it, it i really like this knife um so the, the the reasons that i'm going to be removing the the knives is the issues are so minuscule that they don't even matter it's just boiling down to preference um, the only reason this knife won't move on is because the detent is, is too, it's too, a little too light. Um, so that right there, it, it, it's weird. This knife is very weird. With the thumb flick, it feels good. With the reverse flick, it feels pretty good. But then you get to the flipper tab. And it's almost like it it ran out of gas or something. I, it, it still works, and especially if you give it give it some gas. But even when you do, it kind of just feels like it's crawling out. You know, when you flick this bad boy out, you know it it comes popping out. Um, now this one's a little different as far as that back flipper tab that's more of this is more designed to do like a whipping action i don't know how many people are aware of that but that back flipper tab is more now you can you can do it but it's that's more to get it and flick it out quickly um so we can't really knock the gripper in that sense um, so in that case I will be taking the crawler out of the lineup and what we have left is the brass brigade gripper and the nimble W uh, which I kind of played out in my mind that these would probably be the last two uh, on the table uh, and these are two knives that I cannot keep out of my pocket. I'm at least a few times a week, I get these out and I carry them or I carry them to work. At least one of them, uh, they both see pocket time every week, sometimes multiple times. 
And every time I get, get them out after a day or two or whatever of not using it or getting it out, I remember how awesome uh, they both are. Uh, so with these, you have an extra large knife. And then with the other, you have like a mid-sized knife. Like this is a three and a quarter inch blade, like two and three quarters of cutting edge, and then seven and three quarters on the total length. And the gripper is going to be three inches of cutting edge and about three and five eighths total blade length and total length is coming in right around eight and a half eight and five eighths so like right around eight and five eighths actually so this the gripper is considerably bigger than the nimble w uh, if I had to pick only one of these knives, uh, to keep, I would have to go with the Nimble W, um, which probably won't come as a shock to anyone. Um, and if I were to take this knife, it would be by... The slimmest of margins, I mean, if this is 100%, or if the Nimble W is 100%, this is 99.9999%. Uh, the gripper is phenomenal, a phenomenal knife. Uh, there's a reason, though, I love EMP EDC, and it's because he has the ability to continuously make knives that feel like they're made for my hand. Almost like John custom made this thing for me. Um, it's a great size. It's not too big and it's not too small. Uh, there's enough edge there that pretty much anything you're cutting it will keep you in that cut <clears throat> you have that nice point to get in there and do draw cuts or fine detail work uh it's got a nice flat grind uh a good flat grind that is a working edge and it does very well uh it's comfortable in the hand comfortable in the pocket it carries well uh the fidgetability and uh manipulation of it is off the charts good every there's there's no qualms when that with this knife everything is done <clears throat> well as far as like the detent and the opening methods it's not just there for looks you can literally use all the different deployments and they all feel very good when you when you do them uh so that's one thing that i love about this knife is the ability to maneuver it however you want um so with that being said the nimble w is the winner of this one tonight let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Would you have went with the Nimble W, the Gripper, the Chavez, or the Crawler? Let me know down in the comments. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please think about subscribing. Hit the bell notification. Leave a comment. Like the video. And for everyone else who is already subscribed... Thank you. I love you. For everyone who comments and likes, thank you. It means a lot. Love you guys. Everyone, have a good night.
and be safe. See ya.